Hello, it is the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger, and I'm here with another episode of Podcasting Your Purpose. And today's title is Podcasting and Professional Speaking. You know, as a professional speaker, as an educator, as a trainer, as a workshop leader, our calendar is now pretty much empty. All those engagements that we had scheduled prior to the pandemic are now canceled. They're taking them virtually. But that doesn't mean that you should not start a podcast as well. I am sure that you have content that you can repurpose, whether it's content from a YouTube video, content in a book that you've written. Remember, I've written basic blogging tips for beginners. That's still available on my blog at dellblogger.com. Whether or not you have papers, printables, workshops. And here's another great tip. If you want to connect with other speakers, for example, back in March, right before the shutdown, I had an opportunity to present blogging tips and podcasting pointers at the 2020 social media forum at Dell Tech in Georgetown, Delaware. Now, there were also several other breakout speakers there that presented their topics on social media as well. I could connect with them today, tomorrow, next week. I can send them an email, one of them, two of them, several of them, and say, hey, let's start a podcast. Let's start educating others because this is a great time in which you can share your knowledge, your expertise, because again, once this is all said and done, there will be a new normal. However, you want to be top of mind when it comes to future engagement. People will say, you know what? I listened to Antoinette train us on podcasting during the pandemic. We're going to have a forum or we're going to have a workshop in the fall and we're looking for speakers. Antoinette, we've been listening to you. Would you be interested in? Again, start building that momentum now. Don't just sit back and say, whoa, it's me. I'm not making any money. You can eventually right now just concentrate on keeping your name your topic and yourself out there, whether you're doing it on a YouTube channel or a podcast. But I recommend the podcast because people are listening to you. People need to hear that voice. They need to get that training at their leisure. They cannot always be on Facebook Live at 7 p.m. And then once that goes through the feed, it's lost. So again, starting a podcast is perfect for you not only to keep yourself out there so that people know that you are a a professional speaker that is available, a professional speaker with knowledge, a professional speaker that can help them when they're going through something so that they know to contact you when everything is to a back to a new normal. So again, podcasting is a great way in which to connect with others. As a blogger, I have the blog your way to a business profit podcast every Wednesday at one o'clock. And that's actually on blog talk radio. So listen out for that as well. But let's, let me give you just a few tips to prepare yourself for this podcast as a professional speaker. Definitely your topic. What is your podcast going to be about? Are you going to continue um, presenting on one specific topic or will it be multiple topics? Let your listeners know what it is. Is it going to be a training? Is it going to be inspirational? Whatever your topic is, that is, should be the title of your podcast. For example, um, and if you're, you know, out there, people know you, i.e. Les Brown, you can just have the Les Brown podcast. But again, think of the title of your podcast. Who is your target market audience? You already know who they are because they're the people that are buying the tickets, have bought the tickets, have bought your book, have attended your workshop, has signed up for your workshop. So you know who your target market audience is. So you're going to be going after them either in their email box because I know you have to make sure you capture those email addresses. Email addresses are gold or where they hang out. What social media platform are they on? Can you find them on LinkedIn? Can you find them on Facebook or on they are, are they on Twitter? So again, that's where you're going to promote your podcast from wherever your audience hangs out and you know your target market audience. Is the format of your show just going to be solo? Is it just going to be me talking to my 
audience. For example, on Blog Your Way to a Business Profit, I'm doing that solo, but I'm going to eventually bring on guests. I'm going to interview other bloggers and influencers Influencers on my previous podcast, Out and About with Antoinette. That was interview style. This YouTube video that we're doing now is solo. So determine how the format of your show. And again, if you present it as a panelist, contact those panelists to see if they'd like to be part of your podcast as a host or as a guest interview your artwork. Simple is better. You can create simple artwork with just the name of your podcast and you can do that on Canva free um, using, uh, I think the dimension, again, I don't think, but the dimensions are 3000 by 3000 pixels. Go on to canva.com, create a cover art for your podcast. And again, simple is better. You don't need anything really, really um, big. Just make sure you have your title, whatever the title is going to be. And then perhaps uh, your picture or a headphone or something, the symbol of a podcast. Make it easy breezy. Figure out your launch date. What day do you want to launch? Again, preparation, preparation, preparation. You have to prepare because otherwise it'll be all over the place. So decide on a particular day that you're going to launch. When I'm meeting with my clients, that is one of the questions I ask them. What day do you think your target market audience is going to be listening? Now, again, they can listen at any time, but you want to keep it consistent so that people know every Wednesday at one, you can hear blog your way to a business profit. I don't know why I keep looking over there. I should know. Or every Tuesday at two on Anchor FM, the Delaware Blogger podcast. So let them know. Know your date. Say if you're going to start your podcast now, you know, create it, create that schedule. Remember, I have the book. If you are still available, I mean, they are still available. If you are still interested in the podcast and your purpose, web book, that's $15.99. And again, on the back, I have the schedule. You can put in your episode dates, if you're having a guest, your topic, your promotion, all of that. And again, this is a great, great uh, booklet. For those that have already received it, they'll probably tell you it is, but it's a great booklet to help you get yourself organized, to help you get, you know, here's some podcasting pointers, um, social media sharing, creating a blog or a website, step-by-step instructions on setting up your Anchor FM um, podcast. So that's in here as well. The power of podcasting. You know, I talk about that and I'll end with those seven reasons why you should start a podcast. So again, get that you know, get your schedule. What date are you going to launch and design it? Let people know, promote it, promote it, promote it. So if you are a professional speaker and you're sitting home looking at a calendar with X's on days that you should have been speaking, don't. Turn those into podcast episodes. Create a podcast for professional speakers and whatever whoever your target market audience is that is who you're going to be talking to as if you were standing in front of them on a large stage now you're standing in front of them not only on a large stage but you don't have to get dressed up you don't have to put on makeup ladies you don't have to do your hair gentlemen you don't have to put on a suit and a tie you can podcast from the comfort of your home. And this is content that's easily consumable and easily connected and relatable to your target market audience. If you do not have a microphone, you do not need to start with a microphone. Simply use your smartphone. Simply use what you have. Um, Headphones. I do have headphones because that is what I use to drown out the noise when I'm on my laptop, when I'm doing my recording. Decide where you're going to record. Remember, you can record in your closet. You can record in a small bathroom. You can create a tent to block out that echo noise. Or you can record right in your office, your home office. There are free uh, software that you can use for editing. Audacity, GarageBand. You can decide and you can change. And instead of doing free um, hosting on Anchor FM, you can do paid hosting. And I am going to recommend my paid hosting, which is Elite Conversations Radio. And I will leave the link to them um, in the show notes or in the notes in the bio of this YouTube video. And you know what? Repurpose what you already have. Don't try to recreate the wheel. You have a book. I have a book. 
basic blogging tips for beginners, which is available if you head over to dellblogger.com. You can read from your book. You can find a book that you use in your training or some other, you know, workbooks, whatever you have, use them as topics. Don't recreate the wheel, repurpose your content, especially, you know, professional speakers. We say the same thing each and every time to a different audience. So it's like second nature to us. So make sure you do that as well. Oop, get my, oh, I forgot. See, remember that? Yellow blogger. Yeah, I'm left-handed. That's why I usually pick up my cup with that. Okay. Again, decide if you're going to batch your episodes, which means, you know, are you going to create a whole bunch at one time and then divvy them out over, over a course of a week, month, you know, whatever. I usually like to do mine the week before, you know, have a bunch of, you know, you can have, and I always suggest that you have several in, you know, in draft so that you can just press publish because life will happen and things are going to happen. Once you, you know, you start uh, back up again and you're out there uh, doing your thing, you may not have time to do a podcast. So figure out, you know, if you want to batch them or do them one at a time each week. Outline your invitation to your guests. I have a basic guest release form that I send that has pre um, printed information, not only their name, their email address, how they want to be addressed. You know, my name is Antoinette. Um, how do I want to be addressed? My nickname is Tony. So if I want people to address me as Tony, you know, I give you that option. Also, I, you know, you, you're promoting this on your platform. People should understand that this is going to be promotion, that there's voices are going to be promote it, their images are going to be promoted, and they should give you that release, that photo release and that voice release. So I have that guest form as well. Create an outline so that you know what questions you're going to ask. Your interviewee knows what questions are going to be answered, and then the show will flow. Remember the flow of the show. You want that. And actually, just decide on what you want to talk about and write it out. I have a yellow notebook. I keep that day one, week one, two, whatever. Just organize yourself as if you were going to be out there on the stage. Again, this is a big stage where you can connect with a lot of people, repurposing your content. Start with Anchor FM. It's free. It's soup to nuts. They promote it on 11 different platforms. You are going to be top of mind when this pandemic is over. And again, let me just go through what, what, why you should start a podcast. One, it's convenient and easy to consume. This is audio content that people can listen to anytime, anywhere, washing dishes, walking the dog, relaxing, working out, whatever the case may be. It increases your brand and exposure online. You're going to build up a bigger audience because people are listening. They're looking. They want to hear you. And that those that have never been able to come out and hear you, perhaps they were unable financially to come to an event. Now you're offering this to them free. You're now going to increase your audience and broaden your brand so that when they can, they'll come out and see you. It's inexpensive and easy to produce. Again, smartphones. If you have a mic, use a mic. If you don't have a mic, you don't need to worry about a mic. Just make sure that you are in an area that is quiet. You're not outside. You know, you're, you can pad your room. You can be in a small room. You can be in a closet. You can be in the basement. Just play, play around. Practice, practice, progress. Practice, practice, progress. Find out where in the house that is better for you to be. It gives you an opportunity to share your gift with others. Bring on other people, other professional speakers, other guests. Share, grow, expand your audience. Again, it helps you stand out from your competition, especially now. People are looking for others to educate them, to train them, to give them other opportunities, give them an outlet. And here you are, you are doing this for others at no cost because you're not charging anybody to listen to your podcast. It builds trust and likability. Once people start listening to you, they start liking you. So when you're ready to promote a product and or service, then they will most likely buy from you. And last but not least, you have a voice. You have a vision. You can literally change someone's life. So podcasting as a professional speaker is a great thing in which to add to your marketing toolkit, not only because of the pandemic, but because people are now consuming podcasts on a regular basis. So this again, this is Antoinette Blake, the DE Diva, aka the Delaware blogger. And until the next time, stay smart, stay safe, and stay social. 
at a distance because I will see you in cyberspace. See ya. It's the DE Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger. And have a beautifully blessed day. Bye-bye.